Thanks so much for tuning in. It's time for a quick active weather update across the country and from coast to coast. We are seeing some active weather this weekend, so we'll get you through all of it. Let's take a quick look at Guelph, Ontario. It's been slushy. It's been snowy. This system, hard to forecast. Late winter, although meteorological spring is already upon us. Spring was just around the corner. Temperatures fluctuating quite drastically across southern Ontario. They were right above the freezing mark with this last system. Now we're looking at below seasonal temperatures into the minus single digits, but a mix of sun and cloud, gorgeous conditions. And I would love to talk more about the weather story, but I think this little girl, she's got it all covered. Okay, and now with the latest on the vicious storm that's pounding New Brunswick, here is Alexandra in Rosse. Hi, you guys. How's it doing today? Look at this big storm uh, that we're having here in Rosse. Um, where'd the storm go? I gotta go find the storm! So she's a presenter and she's a storm chaser. That's fantastic. Uh, okay. There is another storm on the way. We don't have necessarily the same type of watches and warnings that were in effect with the previous system, but it's retrograding back now. So we're looking at more snowfall across northern New Brunswick, two to five centimeters in through parts of PEI and Nova Scotia. For Newfoundland, it will be all about the rain. And speaking of rain, we've had our fair share of rain across the BC coast, that's for sure. Over 200 millimeters in some regions on the island. Uh, so keep in mind that rainfall will continue today. It's so great to have an umbrella handy in BC, that's for sure, especially along the coast. Uh, we'll continue to see 10 to 20 millimeters possibly, but then it should taper off by tomorrow. However, more snowfall in and through the interior, which has increased the risk of avalanche. It was extreme yesterday. We're seeing risk, relatively high risk today, and that will pretty much stay intact as well for your Sunday. But as I mentioned, ski and snowboard season, it's coming to an end because spring is just around the corner. And with a look at the spring outlook, here is meteorologist Chris Scott. The wait is over. The Weather Network Spring Outlook is here. Check in to learn who will see warmer temperatures first, who will need their rain boots, and where winter might linger just a little longer. Tune in Monday at 9 p.m. on the Weather Network. Okay, so keep in mind as well for Alberta, stormy conditions on the way, record-breaking temperatures yesterday, but that will shift for cities like Calgary and Lethbridge as well. But no matter what you're doing this weekend, we will get you through it. How will the weather affect you? We will continue to update you on the weather stories in your community, across the country, and all around the world. We'll be right back. Keep it here.